Some people say we're all connected. All part of some bigger picture. Some harmonious flow, endless and meaningful. Maybe that's how it looks from a distance. But up close, with eyes open, I see no evidence of any spiritual choreographer at work. No, I see nothing but the random fractals of a selfish, queenless hive. Never looking, never stopping, never meeting. Don't get me wrong, yeah? I'm not judging anyone. I mean, I want to get home as fast as the next person. But is it my unwavering selflessness that allows others to go before me? Or the selfish knowledge that the last one will be the first off? I mean, someone is always going to end up standing right by the door. I'm just good at making sure it's me. Like it or not, life's a sinister competition. An endless series of choices, large or small, each with its own set of probabilities. Or wind. Now that's an 80% chance this is my train. It's worth a dash. Excuse me, uh, this train... Random variables. Never underestimate the human factor. Bond Street. I'm sorry, mate, that's my train. Bond Street, here. Look, it's on the other platform, mate. The platform, please. Just through there. Thank you. Two cars out, the rest are logged. Should be a nice, quiet night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do. And here they are. The most meaningful relationship I've ever had in my life. With a bunch of metal bimbos. Look at you, my beauty. You could keep me in college for over a decade. Careful the way he saturates it with his ego. Ah, here he is. Did you put all wrongdoers to flight? Uh, you can leave the key to me, sir. I'll park the car for you. I'm not the driver, son. I do beg your pardon, madam. No problem. No tip. Him or her, fuck. Thank you. You know, sometimes choices are so small you don't even see them. You are your decisions, that's what shapes you. And that last one shaped me into a little bit of a chauvinist, just like that pig in a suit. Uh, I 
I need a favor. I need the keys to the Maserati. Does Dr. Brent know? Of course he does. Okay. Okay, then you want my signing for it then? <laughs> okay. He doesn't know. It's a secret, but I really need those keys. <laughs> it's just for tonight. I'll be back before two. Before one? I want to know why you need the car. We don't need to worry about that. Fine. I won't. <sighs> okay. I made a bet. A stupid bet that I could turn up at this party in Maserati. That was rash. How much is the bet for? A grand. A grand? <sighs> a hundred of it is yours, if you let me have those keys. Two hundred. Okay. Three hundred. But it... You said two hundred way too quickly. Look, would you rather be seven hundred up or a grand down? I'm trusting you, yeah? It's not free. <laughs> two hundred in cash tonight. Ah, look, forget it. There is no way I'm letting you drive a £200,000 car out of here tonight, all right? What? No more fast cars tonight, all right? Turn around. Slowly. Get over here. Drop it. Smart. Now get in the car. Oi, dickhead. Does it look like I can drive? You get behind the wheel. You want me to drive you out of here? That's exactly what you're going to do. fucking student. Okay, I've got no money. My family's got no money. I'm worth nothing to you. You're done now. Get in the house. Gates, no option. Wall, 90% chance I'll get shot, but he's injured. Make it 70. Chance he shoots in this neighborhood, though, 30% max. So the chance of taking a bullet is less than 21. Is it worth a try? Go. Stop. Shit. Fuck. Get in the fucking house!
you good? Just want to make sure I look the part. And I want to make sure we all look one checking gears. Who the fuck is that? It's the night guard. What happened to your arm? You fell 15 feet onto a concrete floor. This is your idea of a slick operation. Dripping DNA all over the place, kidnapping the first innocent bystander. I got the card, didn't I? It's outside. Jesus Christ. And who the hell's gonna drive it? Because you're clearly not. I'll be all right. Fucking idiot. It has to be four people. There is no way you can manage the auction assistant and everyone downstairs on your own. I'm well aware of how many people it has to be. Yeah, to call it off. Do you want to tell Mr Wu that we missed the one chance to get our hands on his fucking rice ball? Because I don't. We have one window of opportunity and we're going to use it. Fine. How? Leave him to bleed. We need to make some calls and try and find a replacement in the next... Shit, in the next 30 minutes, call Danny if he doesn't pick up. Try and get hold of that you know, Irish Pete. What about him? Let's put a bullet in him. I don't care. I'm not a murderer. I don't intend to start now. Pass me Diffinoxin and a couple of cable ties. Diffinoxin? What the fuck is that? Gets rid of headaches like you. Hold still, making things worse. Your headache's gonna start the moment you knock me out. And why is that? Because your mate on the couch there, he may have brought you the BMW, but he's brought it here with a valet key. A valet key? What the fuck is that? It's a parking key. It means you can't drive faster than 35 miles an hour. Not great for a getaway car, is it? And why do you think it's a getaway car? Your face? Is this fucking right about the key? It puts a block on the electrics, but we can sort it. No, you can't. You can't do it without triggering the immobiliser. But I can. Well, you can. No, certainly can. Looks like you just bought yourself a ticket and bought this operation. Are you serious? Are you going to go to the basement? We've got no idea who he is. After tonight, we're not going to see him again. What difference does it make? The difference is this guy looks like trouble. Well, Mr Wu is trouble, and we've made a deal with him we can't go back on. What do you say? I don't care who does what, as long as I get my cut. You better not fuck this up. OK, let's get set. What do I get in return? No, what's your look? Five grand for unlocking the car. And as of tonight, I'm out of a job. So I want a full share. There is no share. I'm taking his risk. So I want his share. Fuck off. Shut up, idiot. I'll be worth the money. Okay, I'll tell you what, you two split 50-50, that's the deal. Done. You can't do this. It's done. Give us up. You're joking. We'll find us. So what do I do next? Do I go along with this and then try and turn him in? Or do I keep my mouth shut and take the money? I think you need to tell me what we're doing here. Nerve going already. I'd just like to be prepared, that's all. A very powerful Chinese clan called the Choice are here tonight to reacquire a porcelain ball that has been in the possession of their family for over a thousand years. Reacquire? What went wrong? A careless business transaction. So we're here to help them get it back. We're here to stop them getting it back. I presume you're not buying it. What do you think? Great. You know, I gave up stealing a long time ago. To do what? To study. Then tonight's your lucky night. How do you work that out? Because the only thing studying will get you is unemployment. Failed education is still no excuse for stealing, you know. We're stealing from people who are prepared to spend millions on a piece of pottery when there are far more worthy causes in the world. What, and your worthy cause are you? Tonight I am. Who's fooling themselves now? A crime's still a crime.
Welcome to Hainsworth's. The second part of the auction has just begun. Thank you. Nine ten to my left. Thank you, sir. Nine ten. Nine twenty. Nine twenty. Thank you. I see you. Nine thirty. Again to my left. Nine forty. Do I hear nine forty? Nine forty. Thank you, sir. Looking for nine fifty. Nine fifty to my left. Do I hear nine sixty? Fair warning. I'm selling. Nine fifty once. Nine fifty twice. So for nine hundred and fifty thousand pounds, this marvelous twelfth century cabinet with its hidden compartment, which is one hundred and fifty grand for its time. Just Thank try to keep it out of the I'm sorry. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't spend it on a fucking sideboard. Sorry. Why don't you try not talking at all? So we come to what I feel must be the highlight of our sale this evening, lot 247. And to introduce it, first I'd like to pass you over to our expert, Miss Katie Clark. <laughs> What we have here is an absolutely exquisite example of late Ming Dynasty porcelain. Downstairs now, mate. Is the ball there? One of only three beautiful pieces remaining here. examples okay, great. Okay, of a red there. phoenix pattern Time. known to be in existence. Sebastian, if you would please. Thank you very much indeed, Katie. It is a truly exceptional piece. The sale of which cannot be passed without remarking that its owner, Mr. Samuel Parr, who is far too modest to mention it himself, has agreed to donate 50% of the sale proceeds to the Chinese Art Restoration Fund. Yeah, we can't afford it. What did we say about not talking? And so, we should begin the selling. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Sebastian. And I would like to start the bidding, please, at two million pounds. Two million. Thank you, madam. Two million I have to my left. Three I'm looking for. Do I hear three? Three at the back. Thank you, sir. Do I hear four? Four. Four to the lady. Thank you, madam. Four I'm bidding. What the fuck are you doing? Do I hear five? Yeah, what the fuck are you doing? Five I'm looking for. Thank the you, self Richard, on the phone. Five I have. Do I hear six? Six I'm looking for. Six to my right. Thank you, sir. How powerful did you say these toys are? Do I now hear seven? Seven I have to the lady. Please Thank you. Stop bidding. Seven. Do I hear eight? Eight I'm looking for. Eight with you, sir. It's your bid. Looking for nine. Matt, stop her. Do I hear nine? Nine in the room? Nine I'm looking for. Nine to the lady. Thank you, madam. I'm looking for 9-5, ladies and gentlemen, 9-5. Nine 9-5, five. Nine five. Nine five to my right. So do I hear 10? Matt, stop this. Don't talk to him, talk to me. We're looking to break 10. Thank you, madam. Are you out of your fucking And we have, mind? we are at eight figures in the room, ladies and gentlemen. 10 is your bid, madam. It's against you now, sir. So do I hear 10-5? You are so getting lumbered with this. 10-5. 10-5 I have. Thank you. Now do I hear 11? 11 I have with the lady. I'm going to have a thank you, madam. Do you have a 11 is your bid, madam. Yeah, gut feeling. 11, okay. so. Because, you know, price we have 11 five. logarithmic curve. Derivative 11 approaches five. zero. So the chances of getting away with another bid are than... 11, madam. What 11 five. Half percent. Trust me. 11 five. 11 five I have. Thank you very much, sir. 11 There's five. No it's your bid. It's against you now, bid. It's against you, sir. 11 five. 11.5 with you, sir. Fair warning. I'm selling. 11.5 once. 11.5 twice. Sold to the gentleman on my right for 11 and a half million pounds. Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations. Well, maybe that's your problem. Right now, you're my only problem, darling. A problem that just increased your cut by about 25%? Now that's mathematics. 
All right, where to? The basement. Jeffrey's going to call the lift from downstairs. Okay, and then? Then you're going to take out the security guard. I'm sorry, I'm going to do what? Just to follow Jeffrey's instructions, darling. Just like you did when you stopped my bidding. So what do I do? Do I play along and try and get out of this later? Or do I try and stop this little crime wave dead in its tracks? Out of all of the probabilities, how did I end up here? You did well, stopping mailing like that. Don't know what I got into her. Follow me. She seems to like the rush. You don't say. Okay, the assistant's packing up. You've got to move right now. Wait here. When Simon gives the word, move out into the middle of the corridor and wait for the guard to come to you. Just say you got lost looking for the box. Simon, use the guard's image. He's not going to believe that. I'll handle that. Alert the guard, or let this play out. I might not get another chance. Okay, Matt, go. Stop right there, Shepard. This is a restricted area. What do you think you're doing down here? I, I got lost coming out the lift. No, this floor's staff only. Oh, I was, uh, I was looking for the toilet. No, you wouldn't have come down here unless you meant to. Simon, we're at the door. Okay, you have to enter both codes simultaneously. Got it? Okay, timing is key here. The left keypad is 309220. Okay, punch in the right code and I'm good. On the right keypad, enter this. 085209, okay. Got it. Now both hit enter at the same time. Okay, three, two, one. Got it, we're in. Thanks, mate. Take him with you. Simon, I'll come to the front to get you. blank book. Impossible to read. Now, I can read people, but you? Nothing. 
Gentlemen, we are back in society. Let me see it. I want to see the bomb. Just wait. This thing stays in the bag until we get to Wu's place and he turns it into money. Too fucking right. You gotta take a left. It's on Shoreditch High Street. Hong Kong City restaurant. It sounds classy. What are we gonna do about this comedian? Give him to me. I'll pop him. Hey, that's not what we agreed. Not here, just keep him quiet until we get rid of this ball. There should be some gaffer tape in the back somewhere. Look out! Mailing. Mailing, can you hear me? Open your eyes. Okay, there's petrol. Look, we've got to get out. All right? Fuck. to Woos to finish what you started. It's Mr. Woos. Yeah, but well, that was the plan, wasn't it? What do you want to do, Mei Ling? Do you want to stay here? Mei Ling? Fine. Fine, stay here. I'm sure the police will have a fucking ball listening to you explain your way out of this one. Wait.
Welcome to Hong Kong City. Table for two. We're, uh, we're here to see someone? Table for four. Follow me, please. He's going now. Excuse me. We, uh, we don't want to eat. No problem. Far this way. Follow me, please. No, no, no. Mate, mate, mate. We want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? We want to see the manager. You're not even eating? No. Your health inspector? No. Look, is Mr. Wu here? Mr. Wu? Mr. Wu, yeah. Never heard of Mr. Wu. Well, how about the Queen, mate? You heard of her? Memory query. You listen to me. Tell Mr. Wu that Mei Ling and Jeffrey are here to see him. You tell him right now, or you can pay the consequences. Okay. You, right here. Have fortune cookie. Fortune does not come twice. Misfortune does not come alone. Didn't know any better, so you picked that one on purpose. What does yours say? Not tell him. For me, please. Tell me. No. What's your business? Why have you brought this here? Because we had a deal. I made no such deal. I have never seen you before. Look, the man who made the deal is dead, okay? That's why we brought you your ball. My ball? Adam, turn by each other. Managing to steal that ball. It's quite impressive. But choosing to steal it in the first place is nothing short of insanity. We stole this for you. I gave no such order. Not to you or anyone else. What? To steal that ball is not only madness, it is also suicide. To the Choi family, possession of that ball is a question of honor. They have fought wars for it. Its price is beyond measure. And I know how much they paid for it tonight. And I do not intend to add my life to the bill. Now get out! If you know how much they paid, then you know your 20% is a lot higher than you thought it would be. You want us out of here because you don't want to pay what you promised. I did not order its theft. The only order I am giving is to you. Get out of my restaurant! No. Fuck you. You owe us money and you know it. You made a deal for this. Take it. We don't want it. Goodbye. We will not meet again. Fuck you. Come on, Matt. Let's go. Fuck you. Fucking great. 
correct. Still want to know what fortune cookie said. Shut up. A young man may trust his ears, but a wise man trusts his heart. Did you know about the choice? How dangerous they are? You fucking did, didn't you? You knew everything Wu just told us, and yet you still bid against them and stole their damn bowl. This doesn't really help us, does it? It was the choice that ran us off the road. We need a plan. What do you suggest? Hiding until we come up with one. I know a place. No. No, we go to the police, Mei Ling. Like we should have done in the first place. That's a terrible plan. Well, it's better than hiding away from the inevitable. Look, we need to get rid of this bowl before the choice get rid of us. If we take it to the police, they will arrest us. Not for definite, no. I'll make it an even 50%. You do realize your calculations and my gut are doing exactly the same thing? You just need the numbers to make you feel better. My numbers are based on the information that we have, yeah? And rational mathematical algorithms. Well, my gut feelings are based on experience and my entire subconscious. Do you know how many percent of your brain's activity are conscious? Probably less than one. Now that's a percentage. So trust me when I tell you that going to the police is a bad idea. Do you believe, Wu? They knew nothing about the job. You looked convincing, didn't you? Yeah, that's not what I asked you. John, thank you. And good evening from N Channel News. I'm off the service. No, I didn't watch this conversation, mate. I don't know. I thought we were delivering the ball for 20% job done. I should be back at home by now, soaking in the box. What? There's no bar. Somebody must want this thing. Why has no one tried to contact us? Is there any way we can get to just phone messages? Or, or, or what about that place in Chelsea? Maybe they've tried to contact us there. Just shut up, Susie. Why'd you do that? Because I felt like it. This is getting us nowhere. And the book stays blank. Police find the extent of the robbery, which resulted in the hospitalization of three employees. Only one item was stolen from the auction house. A Chinese porcelain May, bowl, which had just been auctioned for the reported value of 10 million pounds. The criminals left the location in two high-performance sports cars and subsequently disappeared. 
though an explosion involving a third vehicle, which occurred 20 minutes later, beneath this flyover near Shepherd's Bush, is also thought to be linked to the robbery. How the hell do they know that? An explosion which completely destroyed the vehicle. The choice will live the ball's history. Your choice of words. I am deeply, deeply devastated by this event. If the bowl was indeed destroyed, then it is a loss to mankind which transcends value. Oh, yeah. How oh, very compassionate of him. That this fast. robbery may also be linked to the murder of Anthony Wu, a Chinese restaurant owner with known connections to the criminal underworld whose body was found at... Fucking hell. Wu was right about the choice. That's for fucking sure. This doesn't make any sense. Mate, we got him killed by taking it there. And where next? We need to get out of the city. Yeah. Yeah, I agree 100%. Are you crazy? Having that is going to get us killed. But we're not having it is what got Wu killed. Hello? Someone downstairs. Where is it? I don't know. Look, I don't. I don't know where it is. We've all had a very long night. If you don't come to your senses, I can assure you that yours will come even longer. Where is the ball? No, I haven't got it. Okay, it was taken from me and now I don't know where it is. Lies. Look, I haven't got your fucking rice ball. Or... Disrespect, we're punished. Now for the final time, where is the real ball? I, I don't understand. Where is the ball you took from the auction, not the copy you had in your pocket? The original. The original ball that you stole, where? What the fuck is that? You know where the ball is. You and your lady friend. Next door. Both of you know. One of you will tell me. What have you done to her? So you admit to your partnership with her? I never met her before tonight. Okay, I, I was part of the robbery, but it wasn't my choice. I don't know anything about, about fakes or forgeries or, or anything else for that matter, okay? As far as I'm concerned, the bowl in my pocket was the real bowl. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. Where are you? You don't have to worry about me. Tell me. Where are you? I don't understand what the fuck you're saying to me. Bowl equals pain. The longer you have bowl, the longer you have pain. Very simple mathematics. Fuck! Fucking hell! No, I haven't got your fucking rice bowl, okay? Fuck! I don't care if you have it or your girl. The bowl is ours. First to tell the truth, it's free. The other, 
is punished. The classic prisoner's dilemma, game theory first term. Whatever I tell them lives or dies on what Mei Ling tells them, and vice versa. If our answers are inconsistent, one of us dies. Choose. Choose punishment. Know your fate. The long one. Good choice. Very honorable death. One turn and it twists your intestines like a key. Death comes slowly over a long, long time. <gasps> Great. Where is the bow? The original bow. Can I trust her to be reasonable? Or will she keep quiet? Because if she does that, she dies. Okay. Okay. I'll do it. I'll get you the bowl. So your memory returns? I wish. Where is it? I can't tell you. I have to go get it for you. Not good enough. It's the only way you're going to get it. I call the Jade up there. You bring us the bowl, and she'll be punished. That should be her. She should get it. Keep me instead. It's decided. You bring us the bowl. If you fail, she knows. to go. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I'm sorry. Where's the original? I don't know. Done to us. What the hell is he playing at? Rich fucking bastard. What the fuck am I doing? Am I really doing this? Yeah. 
Wait, wait, did you fucking understand? What the fuck is up with you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Man, get it's out. off. It's over. not worth it. It's not worth it. It's over. Fucking bricks. Thank you, man. Okay, Pa, you cunt. I'm ready for you. Samuel Parr? Mr. Parr does not receive guests before 10 o'clock. I want to see him, and I want to see him right now. Wait here. Mr. Parr? Mr. Parr, this man says uh, that he has Thank you. Well, uh, I'll take my tea in the study today. Will you intrude at the crack of dawn, my friend? I assume it's urgent. I want the original. The original of what? You know what I'm talking about. Do enlighten me. The rice bowl. The fucking rice bowl. If you're referring to the rice bowl that was stolen from Hainsworth last night, that piece is gone. Lost forever, I fear. That's not true, though, is it? No. Because what was stolen was a copy. The original is safe and in your possession. And you are... Matt. You can call me Matt. Well, Mr. Matt. How did you come by this extraordinary theory? I know that Mailing forged a copy for you, and you organised the robbery. And you have proof to back up this outrageous slander? I don't need proof, mate. We're not in court, are we? I know what I know, yeah? That you fucked up my life for a piece of fucking pottery! Language, dear boy. Don't get confused. Are we going to discuss this sensibly or not? I think perhaps we should discuss it with the police. What do you say to that? Do you have any idea how much that cost? I don't know, mate. As much as this one? Wait. All right. Sensibly. In my study. Yeah. Lead on. Where's the bowl? I don't know. Since it was stolen, I've lost track. That's a lie. It's the truth. <laughs> I'm not leaving here without that fucking bowl. I don't know where it is. I will destroy everything in here. Mr. Powell, is everything all right? Uh, it's fine, Ola. Everything is fine. I'm not fucking joking here. Yeah. I will fuck up everything. I need that bowl. People's lives depend on it. I don't think you'd go that far. Neither did I until I got here. But where's the line? How far will I go? You're making a mistake. Oh, to hell with you! Oh. Neither of us are leaving here until I get that fucking bowl! Oh. Stop in the name of God. It's here. The bowl is here. Show it to me. <laughs> it's in the safe. I collected the chest last night.
Wait, 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 wait. Wait. I'll do it. You don't know the code. You tell it to me, come on. Seven nine nineteen zero one. Oh, so it's like that now, is it? <laughs> Give me the fucking bowl! I can't give it to you. I can't. So you kill me for it? <laughs> you won't be the first to die for it. There'll be many of you before. You have your fucking mind. Fuck you. <laughs> Come here! Come here! Get the fucking cat! Sit down! Sit down! Put your arms down! Put your arms down! Put your arms under that! The ball, you have it. Where? You're dying, but the girl can still live. Where is our ball? We must have it! Where? Fuck you.